Well, we set off early this morning and we've just hit the English Spanish, 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 English Scottish border. We're gonna have a look around. We're looking now. We'll just look at. We we'll stop now for a quick coffee and then we're gonna have a look and uh, see if we can find somewhere to have part the night. I'll have to show you around where we are. Just having a quick coffee and then we're going. We're going to move on to our first uh, port of call. I don't know where it'll be. We're back on it. And I'll get back to you as soon as we um, find out where we're going. I'll get back to you at the first pack up. Catch up. The lock is the transition between a stream and the sea. It's where the water congregates and it's a mixture of the two. It's a lock. We're between um, Lock Lomond and Glencoe. We've just stopped off here. We're, we're on our way to Glencoe today. Yeah, the A82, innit? Yeah, 82. This is a nice little park up, nice and quiet. But we're only here for the day. We're going to Glencoe today. Nice little uh, draft today, only a 30 miler. We've done 100 and odd mile yesterday to sort of get us into this area. Camping over there, they must be mad. It was a great quiet night last night, nobody at all came. We um, got here about half past four yesterday afternoon. But it's raining. I have to put the camera away. I'm getting raindrops all over the screen, so I'll talk to you later. for a look at the old um, Three Sisters. We're going on wood, we're not staying here long, we're, uh, it's just a quick look. So we're on the move, we've now um, we've left that little park up, we're on our way to, well Asda to be honest, but um, after that hopefully there'll be an Aldi, hopefully we'll be able to buy something, there'll be something left on the shelves. After that we're heading north. I've been to Scotland on many occasions before, but I've never been to any of the islands. And that's where it's heading, the Isle of Skye. There'd been no real mention about the pandemic at this time when we was heading to Scotland, but people were starting to panic by. None of us really understood why. So we just carried on with our journey and headed for Skye. Then just on the right, we noticed two local lads who'd got themselves into a bit of a predicament. We couldn't leave them there, so we quickly turned round and asked if we could give them any help. Stuck, didn't it?
He's stuck, lads. Um, I'll have a go at dragging you out if you want to. We'll um, we'll get rid of one of these vans and I'll come back for you. You've got a row. Uh, I've got one if you haven't. After stopping the traffic, we managed to pull the lads out to safety. They've got themselves in a right little predicament trying to get out that field. But it was alright now, and they carried on. And we carried on with our journey down this little road to find a nice little park up that Ian knew about. Then the next day, we would just simply head for the Isle of Skye. We're on the move again today. Um, we're going to start looking for a few locations. There's the boys. Hey, Darren, Brian, Brian, Brian. Brian, Brian, Brian. We're going to take off in a minute, go get some um, supplies, if we can get anything, and then head further north. Looking really good out here though, I've got to be honest. Absolutely stunning place. But there's some nice little walks around here. I haven't done this one. We um, haven't done any really. We got here pretty late last night. So, uh, we haven't really had time to do them, but when we're moving on today, it pretty much doesn't matter where you go in Scotland, it's all just stunning. But we shall bat on, and um, I think. We've had our breakfast, just uh, tidying up, putting things away, and we're going to be on the move. At the time of making this video, there was still no real talk about the pandemic, and we finally made it to our destination on the Isle of Skye. For the first week, it was beautiful. It was taking some really good footage, finding some really good camp ups, and just enjoying ourselves as you would. After a few days, we started to notice a bit of hostility coming on the island. The government had still got no warnings in place, but pretty soon, things started to take a turn for the worse, and the locals would make it quite clear that we was no longer welcome on the island. But that is for the next video. Take care. Stay safe, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.